Confused between India's 115 and IFRS 15? Let me help you with this. Here's the cheat code. See, both of them follow same five-step model, which is identify contract price, identify performance obligation whether they are separate or single. Then, identify transaction price. This means there are sometimes variable consideration, con uh, contingent, deferred. We need to keep all this in mind. Then finally, you need to allocate transaction price to performance obligation, which is generally done in the standalone prices ratio. And finally, recognize revenue as and when the performance obligation is satisfied. The trick, the logic is that revenue is earned when customer gets control and not only when you just deliver the product to the customer. Okay, so control plays a very important role. I hope you got this. In case if you have any query or suggestion, put it down in the comment box.